Shastin, what problem does your company solve? First of all, uh, if you look at the number of cancer patients every year, that is approximately 8 million gl globally. And we can see an increase of the number of ca cancer patients. But also if you look at the mortality, that is quite steady. But what will this mean? This will mean that we will have more and more people that has been treated with cancer. And maybe they are, uh, don't have any cancer longer, it was a successful treatment or not. And uh, today we have heard about all the exciting uh, treatment of cancer, but you should be no well know that 60% of all cancers are treated by radiation therapy. And that is very important to remember. And what is the aim with radiation therapy? That is to kill the cancer. It's not to take care of the healthy tissue. And that's why all the doctors, you know, are very important. Most of the also innovations and in science has been to focus on to kill the cancer cells. But we have another perspective. That is to look at the healthy tissue. How can we reduce the radiation of healthy tissue? Because then we will get less side effects. So our mission is really to re reduce the, the side effect and keep the healthy tissue. And is this possible? Today, when you're treating the cancer, it's like a black box. You get perfect, very good pictures. You can do the dose planning. But during the treatment, you don't follow up either position or shape or the volume of the cancer. And we all know that the cancer is changing during the treatment. And with Mama K, which is the software from Kongsberg Beam Technology, it is possible to follow the change of the tumor during the radiation. And by that, you can update the, your dose plan and, of course, the less side effects. That was a long answer. That was to a your long question. answer to a very short <laughs> question. But <laughs> so, why should one invest in your company? I think there are several things that are important. First of all, what is the key thing? Is that there is a clinical need. And if you just look at the literature, they are describing the need to reduce the side effects. But then it's also, I think, everyone is talking about the multi-technology uh, teams. And I think we are a very, very good example of how a good technology that was started in Kongsberg, which have the, the defense industry, but then they look, how can that really be applicable also for in uh, healthcare? And so they contacted Oslo and Oslo Cancer Cluster Incubator. And with that mix, I think it's important and we can solve most of the really challenging things. And, and a good team, of course, with a good board. <laughs> We'll end with an even shorter question. Are you looking for capital? And if so, how much? I think all com startup companies need to look for, the, for money. And if we, the aim for us is to have the MDR certification in 2025. And until then, we need approximately, I said, 10 million euros. And I think due to the world we are living out, you can't say that you need one, 10 million euros now. I think you have to split it up, and it's also important to look at the grants, the soft money. So it will be a mixture of that. Thank you so much, Justin. My pleasure. <laughs>